Aquarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 23rd through the 29th of September. This is the last week of the month, Aquarius. What's going on with you, water bearers? What's going on with the collective of Aquarius? I want to tune into the energies of Aquarius and read into their love lives. All right, I'm going to look at uh, the overall energies that you're going to be dealing with Aquarius. It's getting pretty more shuffled. We're going to get individual energies following that. What's going on with the Aquarian energy? And that is a love. Oops, I want two more shuffles. All right, so if it ain't perfect, I don't want it. If the flow ain't perfect, I ain't flowing with it. Ten of Cups. Ooh, Six of Swords. Queen of Cups. Okay, well, I get the sense that there's an element of working things out. Meeting halfway. Doing the necessary to overcome obstacles. Is a sort of energy that I'm seeing here now. Ten of Swords? God damn, that could have been something quite heavy that you guys were de dealing with. All right. Ten of... All right, let's, let's focus on this. Ten of Cups. What's going on here with the Ten of Cups for Aquarius? The Two of Wands. This is all about being at a crossroad here when it comes to... Um, Somebody sees the potential of the situation, the sun card. They see the potential of the situation. They're wanting to navigate it. They're seeing the intricacies of the path to attain it. World card. And I feel that this individual is disposed to doing the necessary to have this unity. Okay? The world card is card 21. 2 plus 1 equals 3, which is the trinity. Yet, there's an element of stagnancy here. Okay? The stagnancy is this individual thinking. They may even be overthinking. All right? Hmm, it's, I feel as if the energy right now in regards to this high potential relationship is actually distance. It's abandonment possibly. It possibly has that feeling of abandonment because there's just, it could feel as if things were left out in the cold here. All right, someone here could have been, there could be physical distance here with the Six of Swords, actual physical distance. It could be a long-term or long-distance relationship, or there could just be emotional distance here. What is the Six of Swords? Nine of Swords. Somebody's losing sleep over the distance. Somebody here is losing sleep over the emotional disconnection here that they're experiencing. The world energy. But they're being optimistic that things are going to change and that there will be a relinquishment of the past. All right? They still see hope in this, even though they aren't being too proactive in realizing this hope into existence. Three of Wands. They're more so, like I said, it's a hopeful energy, an energy in which... They are allowing time to play out. Okay. <clears throat> What's going on here with the Queen of Cups? Let's look into the Queen of Cups. What's this Queen of Cups doing here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Let's look into this Queen of Cups. Wow. From the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. This is absolute lover's energy. This connection is absolutely undeniable. All right. To both people. The Chariot. Could be a Cancer that you're dealing with. And what I'm seeing here, Aquarius, is that there's going to be forward progressive movement. Flat out. That's what I'm seeing here. The justice. Movement towards balancing things out. Remember what I first said when I read into this situation. I get this energy of doing the necessary to work things out. And that's exactly what I just saw. What's going on with Aquarius's energy and their energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Aquarius's energy towards whomever it is that they are connecting with? What is Aquarius's energy towards whomever it is that they are connecting with? The Nine of Swords, stress. Ooh. Stress, stress, stress. You're losing sleep over this, aren't you, Aquarius? You're wanting to work things out with your individual, but I feel that right now things just aren't flowing too good. Nope. You could even be doubting this individual. You could be doubting the reliability of this individual. You may even not trust this person here. They're appearing as a Knight of Wands. Someone here that is very alluring, very charming, very seductive even, could be very manipulative as well. Nevertheless, there is a lack of trust that I'm feeling from you, Queen of Wands. A lot of fire energy, but I'm getting the dark side of this fire energy. This individual could exude an element of confidence, all right? They may even bring a bit of doubt into you when it comes to the possibility of being juggled by them with others. The Wheel of Fortune. But I feel like you're trying to be optimistic. Give this individual the benefit of the doubt. All right? But, you know, 
let me see, is this individual trustworthy? Because these just may be your own thoughts, the moon energy. You could be projecting illusions. Mind you, the moon is a card of illusions, right? Not seeing things clearly, and you're stressing yourself out for something that is absolutely inaccurate. We shall see. In fact, let's get one last energy here in regards to Aquarius' projection towards this person, and then we're tuning into your person, the justice. You're trying to see clear, you're trying to see clearly through the BS or any sort of illusion all right i feel that you are you're projecting an element of integrity could be coming forward truthfully could be in this essence of plainly blatantly being honest all right being honest to a source but there is this element of you keeping your own personal security all right you resting on your own independence in other words not attaching yourself to this that's where I see Aquarius. Aquarius wants to work things out, but they are very independent when it comes to their, their projection towards this person. All right. So that's not to say that this individual, it, it wouldn't hurt to leave them, but you could most certainly pick your things up and get the hell out of the, the you know what I mean? Leave the goddamn door or exit out the door. So let's see, may any truthful message come forward if there's deception, if there's anything that Aquarius needs to know about this person that they're dealing with. Otherwise, let's look into this individual's energy towards Aquarius. May the most potent and significant message come forward for the uh, come forth. Two of coins. What is this individual juggling? What's going on? All right, why is this here? Two of Swords. I feel, I don't feel as if they're, you know, let's see, I don't want to speak too soon here, but there's most certainly at a crossroad here when it comes to you, Aquarius. And I don't see that they're, they're necessarily at a crossroad in regards to choosing you or somebody else or juggling you per se, but more so in regards to how to make this work. I really do feel that this person does want to make things work, but for whatever reason, they're obstructed. This could be their own lack of competency in regards to trying to make something happen, or they could actually be dealing with things, different things in their life that are hindering them from having that absolute confidence in saying, I'm going to be victorious with wooing Aquarius into love. All right, but I get all this loving energy here. Four of Wands, this is marriage, okay? The Eight of Coins, this is all about putting effort into it. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's more so of a hopeful energy. There, there's time, time is a factor. Things need, some sort of things need to develop in order for a, a chapter to open up, a chapter that can lead towards success in this situation, Aquarius. Okay, so I feel that your person's got other things going on in their lives that are hindering their optimal potential in cultivating this relationship with you. That's just what I'm saying. All right, talk to me some more about this. So what is the mutual energy between Aquarius and their individual? What is the mutual energy between these two? Nine of Wands. You guys want to give this another chance. You guys want to put in effort. There's been obstacles and challenges, but both of you are inclined to surmounting whatever challenges have presented themselves towards a relationship. And to be frank, wow, I'm going to be honest with what I'm saying here. It's just a matter of getting out of your own heads. Look, both of you want the same thing. All right. But both of you on an individual level, it seems as if you are putting limitations or barriers around yourselves. Okay, ultimately hindering that the, the optimal unity or the optimal potential for a strong unity between you two. So it's not like you guys are being conflicting with each other, but it's your own personal minds that are imposing obstacles before each other. Does that make sense? It does make sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. <clears throat> it's really about getting on the same page. Now, what is Aquarius' uh, advice? Mind you, I'm going to be taking this to the extended in just a moment, Aquarius, where I'm going to be deconstructing your personal feelings towards you at this time. I'm going to be deconstructing this individual's actions towards you this week. I'm going to be deconstructing their future vision of this relationship as well as the near future of the relationship. Nevertheless, what is Aquarius' advice? Let's get, let's get a few shuffles here. What is Aquarius' advice when it comes to this situation? What is Aquarius' advice? The two of coins... The two of coins, what's with the two of coins, the nine, uh, or rather the page of coins, or rather the page of wands. 
there's an element of hesitancy on your end that you need to be done with. You need to execute, make a decision and open up to it. All right, whatever it is. It's, it's like you're appearing as a messenger here. I feel that you are wanting to grow something. It's like you're wanting to move from this page energy to the queen of coins, like taking this serious. It's quite a jump. All right, and it's a matter of actually opening up and expressing that. All right, that's your advice. That's what I'm saying here. Take it or leave it. That's your advice, ladies and gents. All right, stop juggling ideas. And when it comes to the situation, what do you want? You already know what you want. I can tell you, I, I can see that you want, you want to grow this. You want something stable. You want something committal. Stop juggling this. Come forward. Be expressive about it. Obviously, don't be needy about it. Don't be anxious, fearful about it. Come forward and be express yourself confidently here with the Queen of Coins. I mean, if you really want to be that astute, confident provider of security, all right, provider of love, of nourishment, this feminine, beautiful energy, then be it, all right? And if you come forward and express this and it's not reciprocated, well, then go your merry way elsewhere. Stop juggling, though, is simply the advice. I'm going to take this to the extended. Let's go find out what's going on with this individual. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, of course, I'll see you guys next time.